Okay, so this is gonna be five chocolate milk reviews in five minutes or less, all stuff from Pennsylvania. I can find chocolate milks and review them a lot faster than I can produce the footage and get it up online. So I got hundreds of hours of footage probably over the last few years um, that I haven't yet released, but uh, starting to work through that stuff now. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, I'm at Penview Farm in Yardley, Pennsylvania. It's May 31st and it's about 46 degrees and like windy and raining and it's awful out here. Uh, this is the only place that's open on Sunday that carries Penview Farm chocolate milk. Oh, it's pretty thick stuff, but it's good. I mean, it's whole chocolate milk. It reminds me of Pot of Gold Dairy a little bit out west in Bear Lake, Pennsylvania, but it's a little bit sweeter. It's got more of like a sweet, creamy taste. You know, it's a medium cocoa flavor. It doesn't beat you over the head early or stay late or anything like that, uh, but it's pleasant. Yep, all in all, pretty good stuff. I mean, uh, it's a bummer I didn't get to visit the farm up in uh, Percocet, but Pennsylvania continues to deliver on delicious local chocolate milk, and uh, thankful for that. I am at Rossman's Family Farm in uh, Leesburg, Virginia. It's just north of Leesburg, but it's considered Leesburg. And what do you know, they've got this stuff, Kurt's Family Dairy Chocolate Milk from Newburgh, Pennsylvania. Not one that I've heard of before, but we're going to check it out right now. Oh, wow, okay. Really strong cocoa flavor. This actually reminds me quite a bit of Shop Springs Creamery uh, from Lebanon, Tennessee. This is A2 and it's cream line, so hey, right up my street. A2, for me, doesn't impart a flavor. It's just a different, more digestible protein for humans. But it's got that same sort of a, it's like a full mouth cocoa flavor sort of a feel. It almost kind of starts in the front, goes all the way to the back. Uh, it's very strong. Yeah, it's got that great cream line feel. Uh, I don't feel like the cream flavor has a strong taste on its own necessarily. It's mostly cocoa focused here. Kurtz Family Dairy, I'm gonna look for them in Newburg, Pennsylvania next time I'm up sort of in the kind of south central part of the state. Wishing you guys the best. This is good stuff and available at Brossman's in Leesburg, Virginia. Okay, I am at Freddie Hill Farms in Lansdale, PA. It looks pretty, uh, it's pretty light complected. And I will say it, the taste is congruent with the look. It tastes pretty bland, actually. It reminds me a little bit, of, oddly enough, of Mary Mead Farm, which is also in Lansdale, which is like a lighter colored milk, not very chocolatey. You know, it's whole milk, so it's okay on the creamy side, but it's, I don't know, it's not, it's not really doing it for me. Uh, it's not as good as the Penview Farm I had this morning, nor the, uh, the Kurtz Family Dairy that I had also this morning. Yeah, I had about six or seven different chocolate milks this morning. So I'd say this is on the weaker end of one for whole chocolate milk. It's not super flavorful, but the ice cream in there looks really good. The folks who work here are outstanding, super nice folks. Uh, this is a great complex. They got mini golf. I think they got batting cages and a bunch of other stuff. Anyway, Freddie Hill Farm in Lansdale, PA, a fun place to visit. Chocolate milk can stand a little bit more flavor, if I'm honest. All right, the King's Farm stand, I guess. I'm not sure if it's a uh, bird in hand or where exactly we are. Just picked up some of this organic grass-fed cream wine Lancaster local chocolate milk. A lot going on with this stuff. How does it taste? Wow, different. Okay. First two things you'll notice right away. It's it's very thick and it's very undersweet. So it's not as sweet as you'd consider normal chocolate milk to be. Yeah, and the cocoa flavor, I'm trying to put my finger on what exactly it is. It almost is earthy, but not quite. This is a very unique combination of flavors and textures going on. Again, it's thick, but it is very creamy, so it disperses nicely. It's under sweet, and I would say it's also under salty. You could stand to have a little bit more salt in here. For me, it would, would amplify the cream even more so. Yeah, I'm warming up to it. The more I have it, the more I'm getting a taste for it. Lancaster Local, obviously here in Lancaster County. Okay, three bucks again is a uh, pittance for something local, unique, and tasty. Hey, we are at Creek Hill Dairy and Produce in Delta, PA. Fantastic little, I don't know if it's Amish or Mennonite uh, run shop. Really nice folks in there. And they do sell Country View Creamery, cream line, whole chocolate milk, uh, just like we like it, just like they do extremely well here in Pennsylvania. We're in very Southern, Eastern Pennsylvania, more South and East. That's fantastic stuff. Uh, it's got, I mean, it's got that salty, buttery, creamy flavor that you get from a cream line milk. It extends the flavor nicely. It's more of a malty cocoa, 
but not fully malty. There's a little bit of chocolateness, chocolateiness in there. Yeah, it drinks magnificently well. It looks gorgeous. This is super good stuff, just like you'd expect out here. Good little stop here. Happy to find this stuff. And uh, I hope Country View Creamery continues doing their thing because they do it really well. It looks like we got just a few seconds to spare. Better use it wisely. And it, it, it really poses the question, what do you want to do? Do you right. want to take a chance and risk getting knocked out? Oh my God! It is all over! There goes the cap. Fucking under the car. I uh, just had a great meetup with Dan, the chocolate milk man from Pennsylvania, the Downingtown area. Uh, and he actually hooked me up with some Lancaster local and the, the, the newer, the newer ShopRite stuff. So big shout out to Dan. It was great. Uh, we shared some chocolate milk inside there. Didn't have ice cream. I, should, I probably should have. Um, but awesome meeting up with you. And uh, wish you the best, man. And thanks for all your help over the course of, I don't know, the last year or so, however long we've been in touch. Cheers. He's on his way.